Welcome back to Alcamilla. I have just reassembled the mannequin, but I have no idea what doing that actually did. So let's go around and see if I can find out. Okay, I spent a very long time just running around trying to figure out exactly what completing the mannequin had done. And in one of the rooms I could actually see into another room that I'd been in before. The room where I gave the baby to the mannequin arm. And if you remember, which I actually did not until I saw this, in that room there was also a mannequin's arm covering up the lock for one of the doors. So I saw that through there and I noticed that the hand was actually no longer covering up the lock, or the door handle or whatever it was covering up before. So I think by completing the mannequin I actually made it so I can go into that door. That was only part of the problem though. The other problem was actually finding my way back there, which turned out to be harder than I thought. I just kept going around in circles until I realized something. So, there's actually puzzles for both sides of these, uh, things, whatever the hell they're called. So you want both of these to be open and closed in specific ways, for each side, and if it's, and I, I think I covered this in the previous episode, but if you actually do this, it actually undoes the puzzle completion. So it doesn't just set a flag, it actually has to be in the correct state, because if you put it back, it completes again. So, this side was all good. And by having this side complete, what that actually does is it makes it so that, when I go through here, this second part over here is opened up. So it actually changes the level. As you can see, if I do this. So if I deliberately mess it up and then I go back out here. Wait, what? Uh, that is a not at all consistent with what I've seen previously. Okay, whatever. Well, suffice to say, I just recompleted the puzzle on the other side. Oh, no, 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 I was just doing the wrong side. Let me mess up this one. Yeah, so if I mess up that puzzle... There we go, yeah, now the level's much, much smaller. So yeah, I was just doing the wrong side. So the problem, the reason I couldn't actually get back is because the other side of this puzzle was... Uh, had been messed up for some reason, I'm not really sure why. I guess when I solved the other puzzle, I undid the previous one or something? I don't know, this place is very confusing. But now that I've done that, it allows me to get back here, which, um, somewhere around here, should take me to that room. I have no idea which door it is, though. Okay, getting closer. Here we go. Yeah, so I saw into this room. From over there. That's where the fan is, and the fan needs to be turned off so I can get that key. So yeah, now that I've finished the mannequin, I've done this. Now I can go through this door, I think. Was the hand in this position? No, it wasn't. Okay, and this should allow me to turn off the fan. And it looks like turning off the fan is itself a puzzle. Oh no, it's not one of those stupid puzzles, is it? Oh, it is. Are they supposed to all be out, or are they supposed to all be red? Um... 
Well, the fan's still spinning, so I definitely did not solve it. I find the best way for solving these is usually just to mash buttons. But I don't think that's very interesting to watch, so I'm going to complete this puzzle and I'll be right back. There we go. It seems the point of this puzzle was to make sure that only the ones with red lights were on. Which I guess means no power for some reason? Don't really know why. But that seems to have turned off the fan. Now let's see if I can find my way back. really don't remember which door it was. Didn't I just go through all these doors? Oh, wait a minute. This one. I missed this one. Here we go. Okay. Yes, looks like a key. You can take it, because the fan is not spinning. Um... Shit. I think it's bugged. Because he won't take the key, and I still hear the sound of the fan moving, but it's not moving. What the f... Shit. Why can't I take it? It's right there. <sighs> Alright, let me reload my save and see if that fixes it, I guess. Okay, there we go. I think I know exactly what happened. So, just to catch you up, I spent about 20 minutes redoing all the puzzles in this place because unfortunately my last save was from about like 20 minutes or 30 minutes ago. Um, I thought I needed to go back all the way there because I thought this thing was completely bugged, but I don't think it's completely bugged. I think I know what happened. Okay, so the way I left this thing was with all the reds being activated, right? And the fan was off, and yet it seemed to still be running, and I couldn't get the key? I think this is what happened. So it looks like, um, I did this puzzle again, and I got the reds all on, and all the greens off, and the fan was not off. Then I switched it around and got all the greens on and all the reds off, and now the fan is off. So I'm pretty sure what happened is this. When I was messing around with all the buttons, just mashing them. At some point, I got it into the position into the position where all of the greens were on and all of the reds were off. But then I kept messing around with it and then got it till all of the reds were on and all of the greens were off. And I think that one time, when I had all the greens on and all the reds off, I think as soon as you hit that state, the fan just turns off. That just, like, triggers it to stop turning. At least it triggers it to stop looking like it's turning. But then I think if you mess with the switches again, 
and get them into a different configuration. It then turns the fan back on in terms of like the sound still plays and it still thinks you can't reach the key, but it doesn't actually restart the animation of the fan spinning. I think that's what happened. So yeah, this is a buggy ass puzzle and there's absolutely no feedback whatsoever that you actually have these correct. As soon as you get all these greens activated, there's no like sound, there's no... You don't hear like a fan whirring down or some sort of a click or anything, there's no indication. That is a complete mess, but I think that's what happened. I haven't tested it, but I'm going to run back there and see if I can grab the key now, and I'm pretty sure that's what happened. It is consistent with how the other puzzles are designed. The sort of weird thing where if you change the state of the puzzle kind of back, it like undoes the solution, which is really weird. I don't know, usually puzzles don't work that way. Usually if you get it into the solved position, then it stays solved no matter what. Or it like prevents you from messing with the switches anymore because it's already solved and it doesn't want you to unsolve it or something. I don't know, that's really weird. Oh yeah, I gotta turn the film grain effect on. There we go. And let me go save the game. Actually, no, actually I shouldn't save the game. I'm not going to. Just in case it's still bugged. Okay, there we go, thank god. That was extremely aggravating, that was a massive waste of my time. That was like 20 to 30 minutes spent redoing puzzles and redoing stuff because that puzzle was bugged and also just wandering around a freaking maze. Oh. Glad that's over with, at least for now. Now, I suspect the key is for here. The key is hardly turning. It doesn't give in and I can't pull it out either. Wait. You mean, you put the key in and it's still in the door but you can't do anything with it? Hmm? Now it's completely stuck. The key is broken and locked, the door won't open now. Uh... Hey, that's new. Okay, something strange is happening. Whoa! That wasn't a save point. Maybe this one will... Maybe this one will work. Locked from the other side. Locked from the other side? It just came from there. What the hell? Now I can't go in there at all. Okay, so now what is this key for? There was another locked door in one of these corridors, I just don't remember which one. Oh, there we go.
back home. What the fuck? Exactly what I was thinking. Let's not stay here. Wait, that's the end? That did not at all feel like the end. Oh my god. Okay. I, I really was not expecting that. That did not... You know, usually you get a feel for when a game is coming to its end, and that did not feel like it. Hmm. It's a shame that that puzzle bugged out and annoyed me so much right before the end, because that really took me out of the game. It doesn't leave a very good impression on the end. But, um, well, I think I'll make a review type video for this game, so I guess I'll probably save my extended thoughts about it for that video. But, uh, just in general, it was a really enjoyable game. I don't like the puzzles very much, and as you can see, they're kind of buggy. But, for the most part, in every case except the very last one, where it totally bugged out and wasted my time, for the most part, I just found them kind of acceptable and uh, I didn't really mind solving them because solving them allowed me to move on to looking at the incredibly beautiful environment and hearing the awesome music and stuff like that. And that's where this game really shines, I think. Is in the environments and the music and just the overall mood of it. So, yeah, I actually overall really enjoyed it. So, I just want to say thank you for joining me on my journey through Alcamilla. And I hope you enjoyed.